See you boys ran afoul of some travelers. Or them travelers ran afoul of you more like. Who are they? What do they want? Dunno! Boy, you ask a lot of questions. Obviously, the marriage to Odin didn't last, but how did Fran end up a hermit in the woods? Oh, that was a singular piece of cruelty, even for Odin. As if the marriage wasn't punishment enough. Freya was better to him than he deserved. She stuck it out through all manner of indignity, all in the name of maintaining peace and safety for her people. But Odin's madness, his tyranny, his corruption of her magics, it became more than she could stomach, and at long last she broke it off. Odin's wrath was fierce, and his curses upon her were more than she dared to fear. But her magic was so much stronger than her. After so much time together, he knew her vulnerabilities, and exploited them to craft curses she could never break. Oh, like not being able to leave Midgard. Worse still, he robbed her of her warrior spirit. But Freya cannot fight, even to defend herself. No living thing may she harm by blade nor spell. World this belligerent, what choice does she have but isolation? Poor Freya. I guess if I was her, I'd spit in your face too. I lied. So would I. among the living. My beloved Gulvig calls to me. She yearns for peace, yet her remains lie in pieces. I beg of you, make my Gulvig whole again. You want us to collect her bones? Gross. Gulvig's sailor magic knows no bounds. She can reunite you with those you've lost. Really? How? Boy. I can smell your grief, child. Rest assured, her magic is strong enough to create bridges between life and death, if only for a short while. Boy, we are leaving. They've taken three of Sweet Gulvig's bones and spread them across the lake.
Gobi's bones pulse with magic. It must be Gobi. Could we... Could we just hold on to it? And we'll find the rest of it. The spirit lies to you. How would you know? I have known many spirits. They are all liars. This one is different. You know it. You know very little. Very well, no. Here. There was a shrine about a giant lady. Lots of books and visions. Oh, I can just tell you the story later. Friend. Eric. Are, are you okay? No, son. My goods are underwater. My men are drowned, and yet their bodies continue to walk the beaches. Hellwalkers. They plagued these lands. I was their captain. They died because of me. But these abominations sully their memories. I will find a way to free them from their tortured state. In this, I am determined. The thunderstorm scattered all three of my ships across the lake. I see improvement. Here, boy. Govi's bones. What will you say to her? To Govi? Your mother. What have you left unsaid? I... I guess... I just want to know if she's okay. She is dead, boy. I know that! I... You don't understand. Neither do you. I discovered opportunities for hunting and trade in these lands. I gave up my search for Yildenheim long ago. Nothing. Nothing? There is nothing left to say. What about everything we've done so far? That man coming to the house? Talking to the world serpent? We've done so many amazing things. I 
just want to tell her about them. Don't you? What else would you say to her? I tell her that we're both okay. Not to worry about us. Atreus, I... I miss her too. You know this. I thought I knew very little. Here. Boy. We should look for more like this. The final bone. Yeah. We might as well return them to the spirit. Maybe he will keep his word. I know she's not coming back, okay? I know. I just... Never mind. I just gotta return the bones. Namir, there was a shrine about a giant lady with lots of books and, and visions. 
Ah, that would be Groa, the knowledge keeper. She was a gifted sorceress who gathered every tome of arcane wisdom she could find in the realms, all in the hopes of augmenting her powers of prophecy that she might find her lost husband, Arvandil. But it was not her husband she would glimpse in her visions, for it was Groa, seeing longer and farther than any before or since, who witnessed Ragnarok, the end and the beginning. When Odin caught word of her ultimate prophecy, he maneuvered to obtain her knowledge and hoard it for himself. You know what? I'll tell this one later. We have collected the rest of your woman's corpse spirit. Show us this magic you have promised. Ah, oh, my sweet Gulvik, whole again. Rise, dear Gulvik. Awaken, O oh powerful Gulvik! Agni Bukar Birthyast. She says she'll honor our request. Eldi Fagna. And reunite us? In Gowther! Okay, you were right. <gasps> I told you so. I told you so. You are naive, foolish boy. This is true as well. But do not take your disappointment out on me, boy. Take it as a lesson. Yes, sir. That story you started? Odin schemed to capture the visions of Ragnarok recorded by Groa, the Knowledge Keeper. Groa knew Odin as a longtime patron of her services, and so she welcomed him into her library as a friend. What she did not know 
is that Odin himself was behind her husband's disappearance, having used his enchantments to conceal his death at Thor's hands from her sight. Smiling, jealous Odin took her by the throat, and with his very hands he stole her library and her life for his own. I always knew Odin was bad. That's just... Ruthless? Barbaric? Heartless? That's Odin. In fact, we would do well to sit here in silence for the next few moments and reflect on Odin's capacity for cruelty. a lot of responsibility. Does it frighten you? Uh... Responsibility. Oh, uh, no. I don't think so. I mean, I think it used to, but not as much anymore. Why is that? Well, being out here, with you, makes me feel more grown up. <laughs> I see something down there. another shipwreck under the water. Seen one of those before. They look like they walk straight out of hell. One captain leads so many men. He had their loyalty, so they followed. And then they all died. He must have been a bad leader. Why do you think that? Well, he led all these men to their deaths. True. But these men chose to follow. Hmm. Even good leaders make poor choices. The best take responsibility for them. Remember this. Father, were you ever a leader? I... many years ago, yes. I led men in battle. Were you a good leader? It is... complicated. Did you no ever... No more questions, boy. Focus on the task at hand. Yes, sir. Come 
What can you tell me about that giant lady with the bow? She was called Skadi, Queen of the Hunt. Her father was Thiotsi, who could take the shape of any wild creature, and taught Skadi how to hunt them all. Let's this up later.
Boy. Sir. Hey, it's another treasure map. Father, why did you really want to help the spear? You need the experience. I've had plenty of experience fighting this thing. What's the real reason? This man inspired loyalty. He took responsibility for his mistakes, and he was determined to fix them. These are good lessons for you. Oh. <laughs> yes. Oh. So, if you remember, I'd started a doozy of a story earlier. It's about Scar, the queen of the hunt. From the ribs of pack beasts, she fashioned second feet, allowing her to glide upon the snow so no animal could evade her. She became a huntress beyond compare, even to any god. Odin himself wanted her for his bride, believing she would bear him strong sons. But she spun his affections, and for that insult, Odin vowed revenge. My, no my men are... I'll tell them when they roam. That's right. We kill... Uh... We laid them all to rest. I see. So even in death, I am a failure. But in life you were honorable, strong-willed, and you inspired loyalty. These are good qualities, aren't they, boy? Yeah. I couldn't believe how many men followed you here. I... Thank you for your kind words. May your journey have a more pleasant end than mine. Well, you're right. You didn't seem very satisfied. I guess you never really get over losing ones you care about. <laughs>